Yo guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in. Welcome to my channel. This is Living in Alberta, guys. Today we are going to look at the five most frequently asked questions about living in Sylvan Lake, Alberta. What's happening, guys? My name is Kyle. Welcome to the channel. If you've been here before, guys, welcome back. On this channel, guys, we break down everything when it comes to moving to or living in Alberta, guys. So if you do want to see more videos like this one, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell, guys, so you're notified every week when a new video comes out. And guys, as much as I do love making these videos, I am a licensed realtor in the province. So if you would like any help with your real estate needs or you have any specific questions, guys, Use this information on the screen right now, guys. Give me a shout, we'd love to hear from you. All right, with that being said, let's get right into the video. All right, guys, diving right into number one and one of the biggest questions that I get asked all the time about living in Sylvan Lake is are there any issues with flooding or what's the water table like there so obviously you are closer to a body of water guys so there is going to be a higher water table in the area now if you look at sylvan lake it's on the south end of the lake the town is on the south end of the lake guys and it heads south it develops south towards highway 11. it kind of goes up on a little bit of a slope so the farther back you are obviously the less chance or risk there is for having any potential flooding issues. It's now, there are some neighborhoods, guys, that have been built on reclaimed swampland, guys, so there is a potentially higher risk in those neighborhoods. Help me! Help me! Help me! Now, I have to be careful how I word this, guys, because I don't want to make it sound like there is a huge risk if you're living in some of these neighborhoods that are obviously closer to the lake or that have been built on reclaimed swampland. I have sold and helped people buy a lot of houses in these areas. I also have a lot of friends who live in those areas and they have had absolutely zero issues with flooding or water issues. What? So in Sylvan Lake, guys, because it is closer to a body of water and there is a higher water table, almost all of the homes in Sylvan are going to have sump pumps. And if you don't know what a sump pump is, it basically is a pump that sits underneath your foundation and it, as heavy rainfalls come in and water accumulates underneath your foundation, that pump will turn on and it's gonna pump the water away from your home. So as long as all your equipment is in working order, guys, you're probably not gonna have any issues whatsoever. You wanna make sure that that sump pump is in working order. Something to keep in mind too, guys, is it's always a good idea to have a backup. So most sump pumps are plugged into the wall. And when do we have power outages, guys? It's usually during a big storm or a heavy rainfall. So if your sump pump is plugged into the wall and the power goes out, guys, obviously that sump pump is going to stop working. So it's a really good idea to have one that has a battery backup, or in my opinion, I would just have a second sump pump that has a battery backup just in case that first one goes down. I think it's definitely worth the investment, guys, to spend a few hundred dollars on that extra pump instead of having a flood in your basement it could cost you thousands of dollars in remediation. So some of the homes that have had some issues, they've had some extra layers of defenses put in like weeping tile. So again, guys, there is definitely a higher water table. That is one of the things that comes with living closer to a body of water. But as long as everything is in working order, guys, you're probably not gonna have any issues. Obviously, there is the potential for risk there, but it's not something I would really be, you know, worrying too much about if I was thinking of buying a home in Sylvan Lake. Again, I've known lots of people who've lived in the area. I have tons of friends who live there and they have had zero issues. In the springtime, when there is a heavy rainfall, guys, you can drive down the street and you'll see lots of places pumping water away. So those sump pumps are definitely doing what they're supposed to do. And another question I get asked, guys, is about actual flooding from the lake. I don't know if you guys had followed news here. A few years ago, we had a big flood in Calgary, and we also had a big flood in High River. So people ask if that is something that ever happens in Sylvan Lake. It's never happened since I've lived in the area, and that's been since the late 90s. And as far as I know, that has never happened. But don't fact check me on that. If it has happened, it's been very, very very rare so yes guys higher water table in the town not something that you should really worry about guys if you're thinking of buying a house there it's a beautiful town to live in 
So many people are moving there right now and it is a great place to live. All right, guys, the second most frequently asked question that I get about living in Sylvan Lake, Alberta is how busy does it actually get in the summertime? And am I gonna hate living here because it gets so busy? And there's only one way to describe it, guys. Sylvan Lake gets very, very busy in the summertime. Now I've mentioned this in other videos, guys, and the projection is that annually up to about a million people visit the town of Sylvan Lake every single year, with most of those people visiting from July to August. Now the town only has about 16,000 people. So obviously when that many people are coming, it's going to get pretty busy there. Now. I talked to a lot of friends who live there. Again, I used to work on the fire department. A lot of the guys on the fire department live in Sylvan. And they say that most of the busyness is just located up along Lakeshore Drive and the, and the lakefront. So most people, when they visit Sylvan Lake, guys, they're not, they don't care about the rest of the town. They're just there to go to the beach. So they stay up on Lakeshore Drive and the lakefront. And that's also where all the really good bars and lounges and restaurants, that's where most of the people stay. They don't venture out through the, through the rest of the town. Obviously, you know, things like the grocery stores and things like that, they might get a little bit busier. And obviously the restaurants and the bars and all that stuff up on the Lakeshore Drive are gonna get busier also. But talking to locals that live there, even if you're living a few blocks back off the beach in a different neighborhood, they say they really don't notice the busyness as much as long as you stay away from Lakeshore Drive. Now, Alberta is not really well known for its lakes, guys. And um, Sylvan Lake is definitely the nicest, in my opinion, one of the nicest lakes in Alberta. It's a legit lake. So on hot days, guys, people from all over the area, Edmonton, Calgary, all over the place, they come to Sylvan Lake. So on really hot days, hot weekends, it gets super, super busy there. Parking can be a pain in the ass, guys, trying to find a parking spot down there. However, if you are local, you do have that option of going to the beach during the week, or you know you can get there super early and get a spot because you live right there. The lake is right in your backyard. Now with this busyness, guys, comes some really cool things. Obviously, it's a huge boost for the economy. Um, the small businesses, the restaurants, the shops, the bars, they love the summertime there. That's when they make most of their money. And in my opinion, guys, Sylvan Lake has some of the best nightlife in the area. I would even venture to say that it is better than the big city Red Deer. Obviously, so many people come there during the summertime all along Lakeshore Drive. It's a really, really cool vibe, guys. You just can't beat that vibe. You know, it only comes with living in a lake town, but that's where all the wicked, you know, restaurants, bars and stuff are. So people hang out on Lakeshore Drive. Those patios are full, guys. People are having a great time. Music is playing. I think it's a really great area. Obviously, it's great for families too, but I think it's really great for single people as well. So to answer the question, guys, yes, it gets very, very busy in Sylvan Lake during the summertime. However, according to the locals there and talking to friends that live there, it doesn't affect them unless you're living right up on Lakeshore Drive or you wanna go up to Lakeshore Drive and you know, you're going to the beach for the day, especially on a hot, sunny day or a hot, sunny weekend. All right, guys, let's get into the third most frequently asked question. And this kind of ties in with the last one, but people ask me, what is the lake like? So Central Alberta, again, not known for its lakes. So there's tons of different kinds of lakes around the area. In my opinion, and it's just my opinion, I'm not gonna name any lakes. I think they're kind of like more or less big sloughs. However, Sylvan Lake is a legit lake, guys. It's very clean. It's great for all the water sports like water skiing, boating, paddle boarding, all that kind of stuff. The water is very warm. It's great for swimming in. The bottom of the, the lake is super sandy, guys, so it's easy on your feet. The beach itself up by the town of Sylvan, guys, it's not overly huge as far as like sandy areas. A lot of it is grass. And there's some really good fishing there, guys. So there is, during the summertime, they have the Sylvan Lake Aqua Splash, which is phenomenal for the kids, guys. I'll throw up some B-roll so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But it is a legit lake, okay? A lot of the people, they think, oh, how good can this lake be in central Alberta? You know, I, it can't be that great. But really, guys, Sylvan Lake is an awesome lake, which is why it is so busy and such a popular tourist destination. All right, guys, question number four that I get all the time is people asking me what the real estate market is like in Sylvan Lake. Now, since 2015, uh, Alberta has been in a buyer's market up until last year. And so far this year, especially in homes priced in that 300 dollars to $500,000 range, 
the market has been quite competitive. So because of the time of year, the inventory has been quite low. So homes that are priced well, that are nice homes, you've been seeing a lot of multiple offer situations so far. So right now, guys, the days of lowballing sellers are kind of out the window. When you're coming to write an offer on a home, guys, you need to be able to put your best foot forward. You need to have that pre-approval in place, guys. That is super, super important. I know a lot of listing realtors, well, if you're putting an offer when it's in multiple offer situations, they're gonna ask for that pre-approval. And if you're working with me and my mortgage broker, I'm actually gonna have my mortgage broker get on the phone and give that listing realtor a call just to give the seller that confirmation that your finances are good to go and make that offer look a little bit more attractive. Now, when you get into multiple offer situations, guys, I always tell my clients that you have to be able to put that best offer forward. So that should be an offer that makes you a little bit uncomfortable, but also you're able to sleep at night. Now, people always, they get worried. They're like, oh, am I overpaying for this home? Guys, that's such a, a tough question to answer. Maybe based on comparables from a few months ago, maybe but I mean in multiple offer situations you're gonna be paying at least asking price or above asking price now what you need to be asking yourself does that home check all the boxes is it great for my family is it a great location do I love the home can I see myself raising my family's home over the next 5 10 20 years and if the answer to that is yes guys then that home is worth whatever you're willing to pay for it so yes, guys, it is a little bit more of a competitive market out here than we've seen in the past over the last five years. It's definitely not crazy like British Columbia and Ontario, not even close, guys, so don't even worry about that. But more and more people are moving to Alberta, especially because of the cost of living, the demand for labor is picking up with the oil economy picking up again. People are able to work remotely, guys, so they can work wherever they want in the world. And if we look at human behavior because of this pandemic, guys, people, they're not going on vacations. They're not going out to eat very often or as much, half because you can't even get in a friggin' restaurant because you don't have a passport. So people are saving a lot of money and they're putting that towards buying a house. Also combine that with historically low interest rates over the last couple of years with the pandemic. Um, however, interest rates are expected to start to go up here shortly. So that's going to curb the demand a little bit, but Definitely more competitive out here, guys. Okay, I just want to make people aware of that. There is the potential for multiple offer situations. And there was a point, um, you know, I think it was in the mid 2000s where lakefront property in Sylvan Lake was the most expensive real estate in the country. So even though it's in little old central Alberta, guys, it is a very, very popular place to live. All right, guys, question number five that I get all the time about living in Sylvan Lake. I get asked, is it a good place for families? And the answer to that, guys, is definitely a big yes. Now, I know I say that about a lot of the communities around here. One, because it's true, but Silver Lake kind of has, and I hate throwing this word out because it kind of sounds a little bit cliche, but I'm gonna use it here anyways, but the sense of community in Sylvan Lake, I think is second to none compared to the other places in the area. I think that comes, guys, from having such an active community. Now, obviously, just living close to a lake, guys, in a body of water, it's going to make the community a lot more active than somewhere that doesn't have that body of water. People are gonna be hanging out down at the lake, getting to know each other, but Sylvan is really, really well known for its events and festivals and activities that it has throughout the entire year. And I think because of all these events and festivals and stuff, guys, it makes Silver Lake a really tight-knit community. So even in the wintertime, guys, you think that it's going to shut down. They decorate the lake shore into a winter village, guys, and I'll throw some beer all up so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And even coming up, I think it's this weekend coming up or next weekend, Family Day, um, it's a huge event there, guys. So they build ice slides for the kids, igloos, there's dog sled races, snow carts, get it, snow carts, go carts. They clear off the ice, guys, the entire year so that there is a big area for the kids and families to skate on. On the weekend, guys, you go down to the lakefront in the wintertime and the lake is full of people skating, full of people ice fishing, bombing around on their snowmobiles. They have bonfires down at the lake and also, guys, in the summer, the lake is in full force during that time. But again, there's tons of events going on. There's 1913 days, different festivals going throughout the entire summertime. So. That vibe also, guys, that the lakeshore gives off with the music and the beach volleyball and the lounges and the pubs and people just hanging out, having a great time, enjoying themselves. Because of all these activities, guys, Sylvan Lake really gets to know each other. There's a really 
tight-knit sense of community there. Sylvan has some really active Facebook pages, guys, so you can ask any questions that you might have. There was even a gentleman there the other day that you know he said his vehicle was in the shop for the week and he was asking if he'd get a ride. Someone can give him a ride to work to and from Red Deer for the week. And there was a number of people, guys, more than willing to help him out. So to answer the question, guys, yes, Sylvan is a great place to live if you have a young family or it's great for families. Again, you're only 15 minutes out of the west side of Red Deer, so super close if you need to run to Red Deer for anything. It's a great central location. And again, really great community, really tight knit, so great for families. <music>